everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this mesh cluster stitch which is a fairly easy stitch to work. It's made up of double crochet stitches, chain stitches, single crochets, and then these little double crochet cluster stitches. It's a fairly quick stitch to work. Creates a sturdy but very open work fabric. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of this Pima cotton yarn by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a 100% worsted weight cotton as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. There'll be links to both of these items in the description of this video as well as a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around and don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of three plus two stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20. Then once you have your foundation chain worked for row one, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, chain three and your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row two, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch and into your next work a double crochet cluster. To work the double crochet cluster in this pattern you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops going to do that one more time in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. That's your double crochet cluster. You're then going to chain two, skip the next two stitches and work a double crochet cluster into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip two, double crochet cluster into the next stitch. I'm going to continue working here. all the way across until you come to your final three stitches. When you come to your final three stitches, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one double crochet and then two. That brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a single crochet into each stitch and one single crochet into each chain one space. two single crochets into each chain two space all the way across. 
So single crochet into the top of your clusters, then two single crochets into each chain two space. You'll have the chain ones spaces on all the either side, so you'll work one single crochet into those ones. Single crochet all the way across. Don't forget to single crochet into the top of your starting chain three as it counts as a stitch. You can then at the end of your row three, chain three and turn your work. And that's all there is to working the cl cluster mesh pattern. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, and then work your cluster. So you're going to repeat that row two and row three for as long as you would like, then fasten off and weave in your ends. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week.